Hey guys, this is Whitetron 101. Just want to uh, give a shout out to Kevin and say thank you, brother, for emailing me uh, this info. It's pretty, pretty amazing. And if you have some uh, some in information or anything that you would like for me to share in a video or something like that, you can email it to me. And it's in my, uh, you can go to about on my channel and my email is there. But uh, check this out. Holy, holy oil or oil, as we say in the South, made sacred to anoint King Charles, King Charlie ahead of his coronation. Uh, Chrism oil has played an important part in holy ceremonies, including the coronation of monarchs dating back to the early church, as Neil Connery reports. Holy oil, which will be used to anoint the king during his coronation, has been made sacred in Jerusalem. Hmm. In Jerusalem of all places, they got this oil from, they, they got this holy oil from there. And we have the rise of the Yannicka. We have Israel's new government that is rising right now with, uh, with their new uh, National Guard. So I find this, this connection with the Yannicka and Jerusalem very interesting. And also I reported in my last video that uh, the second Passover, we're still in a cycle of the Passover right now, guys. Uh, just, you know, FYI, just want to let you know that we are still in the cycle of the Passover. And second Passover is coming on May 5th. And when is this guy coronated? Hmm, May the 6th, the next day. So I find that those dates very, very interesting. It says right here, May the 6th. May 5th is the last day of the second Passover. So, and, and of course, they have two Passovers, just in case you missed the first one. You can sacrifice your lamb on second Passover. So we have a Yannicka, Jerusalem, and King Charlie connection here, which is very huge. Uh, King BB is still my number one choice, but this guy right here, I find that these two dates are mind-blowing. And thank you, Kevin, again for sending this article to me because I'm telling you, this is all beginning to line up very, very interestingly. Because uh, remember, Great Britain, uh, the uh, Balfour, Balfour Declaration is when Jerusalem started. Israel started coming back to Jerusalem it was in 1917. And the sun did not rise, the sun did not set on England at that time. They were a superpower during 1917. And, you know, we can see the steady fall after that from 1917. And, we, of course, that was during the, you know, World War uh, El Numero Uno. And so we have an English connection there with the Balfour Declaration. And, again, this guy right here is huge in the Middle East. He is a big part of Saudi Arabia. He has, he's a part of that crew there. So, and of course, we have the World Banks and, and all that kind of stuff going on. So the, so a ceremony took place in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which is built on the site where Jesus is said to be, have been crucified and buried on Friday. A special liquid called chrism, hmm, chrislam, chrism oil was declared by the Patriarch of Jerusalem, his Beatitude, Patriarch, Theopolis III, and the Anglican Archbishop in Jerusalem, the most reverend Hosam Naum. Mr. Naum said he had felt a deep sense of spiritual experience during the ceremony. Hmm. The Archbishop asked, added, so what he what has been happening today, I think there is that thread, that is, the consecration of the oil for the enthronement, enthronement and the coronation. It brings about something of a deep and profound meaning, both to King Charles, to the church, and Jerusalem to the Holy Land, and I think to the whole world. So we look at this, you know, T-Man doesn't have this, and, and others. So this, and this is all in Jerusalem right here, guys. I had no idea about this holy, you know, so-called holy oil. So the holy oil has been created using olives harvested from two groves on the Mount of Olives. Hmm. At the Monastery of Mary Magdalene and the Monastery of the Ascension. The olives were pressed just outside of Bethlehem, <laughs> and the oil has been perfumed with, with sesame, rose, uh, jasmine, cinnamon, all these things. So the chrism the chris oil, which will be used to anoint the king during his coronation, is vegan friendly. Oh my goodness. Previously, the Archbishop of Canterbury used holy oil to anoint the hands, breast, and head of the sovereign. During Queen Elizabeth II's coronation, the, the anointment was not televised. Hmm. The king will also receive the orb, coronation ring, and scepter, and will be crowned with the majestic St. Edward's crown and blessed during the historic ceremony. 
Camilla will also be anointed with holy oil and crown, just like the queen mother was when she was crowned queen in 1937. So what they're saying is this is very different here, what's going on with this guy, than with his mother. So, and this is pretty well, this is the Mount of Olives. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Mount of Olives there. So uh, Charlie has strong links with the Holy Land because his grandmother, Prince... Princess Alice, Alice, hmm, Alice in Wonderland, who harbored and in the, in the, you know, the rabbit hole, all that kind of fun stuff that, you know, you know what I'm saying? So who harbored a Jewish family in Greece during the Second World War is buried at the Russian Orthodox Church of St. Mary Magdalene in Jerusalem. Hmm. So his grandmother is buried here. So they have a huge, strong roots to Jerusalem. This guy right here is one to be watching. He last visited her tomb in 2020 during a visit to Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories and laid flowers. And the Archbishop of Canterbury said, I am honored and grateful that is that his beatitude patriarch but I don't know, king have consecrated the oil that will be used to anoint his majesty the king. I want to thank especially his beatitude for providing this coronation oil, which reflects the king's personal family connection with the holy land and his great care for its peoples. I never knew that. This is this is all new info for me. I didn't know that uh, that these people had a big connection to the holy land. I had no idea. So this is very very revealing here. So this demonstrates a deep historic link between the coronation, the Bible, and the holy land from ancient kings to to the present day, monarchs have been anointed with oil from this sacred place. As we prepare to anoint the king and the queen consort, I pray that they would be guided and strengthened by, okay, I'm not going to say that. So <laughs> they're going to be strengthened and guided, but it's definitely not by the Holy Ghost. And the oil is based on what was used to, at the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II, the formula of which has been used for hundreds of years. So uh, we're seeing something very, very different with this guy than with his mother. And I had no idea. Again, I'm going to repeat myself. I had no idea that they had these deep roots with the Holy Land. So, uh, so here's something else that he sent me. I found it very, very interesting. Uh, the first name Maya of Hebrew, Latin, French, Greek origin is often a girl's name. It's been used the following. So May, he's using Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. You're going down. It's a warning. You know, you know what I'm saying? So if an aircraft or or a ship or something like that is in trouble, they say Mayday, Mayday. So why May? In Roman mythology, Maya, Maya, source of the month May, was goddess of spring and growth. He's going to be anointed on Mayday, on the goddess of spring and growth, the new age, the age of Aquarius. is all lining up here. So the meaning of king, known for its royal standing, the Gaelic name, uh, Rian, means king choosing this name means choosing a name that signifies positive attributes such as power confidence and wisdom if your hope is for a baby so uh this is pretty pretty wild guys and thank you again rian Th not rian but this is the name rian thank you brother kevin for sending this information to me please comment below let me know what you think it's this guy right here is on my radar especially now with this article it really opened my eyes to uh britain's connection to the holy land i knew they had a connection but i didn't know it was this deep that even his grandmother is buried there on the mount of olives so again comment below please like share and subscribe uh, it really helps us out here and i just want to say thank you to all of our members all of those that are subscribing to us all of that all of, all of you guys that are supporting us i just want to say thank you so much and sorry i didn't put up a video for a couple of days really been busy and uh you know you know you know how it is so um i'm back on back on track here and this guy right here is one to be watching, along with King Bibi, who I think he is either the Antichrist or he is preparing the way for someone like this. And of course, we already know that the Annika is the false prophet. He is preparing the way right now in Israel for whoever that person is going to be. And I really believe that he was revealed on Passover there at the Western Wall. And I believe that this second Passover that is coming, it is going to be major, 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 because it's May 5th is the last day of the second Passover. And then this guy gets coronated the next day is something to to uh, to behold. So anyway, guys, I'll leave it there with you. I love you. God bless you. I'll cover you with the precious blood of Jesus and Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He is Israel's Messiah. He is our Messiah. Yeshua means salvation. So the only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ of Nazareth, him alone. And his name alone is the only name under heaven that we can be saved. 
And if you, you want to get saved, you want to get in that living, active relationship with Jesus Christ of Nazareth, go to Romans 10, 9 through 13, and do that right there with all of your heart and cry out to God and, and tarry for the Holy Spirit and God will fill you to overflowing. So anyway, guys, I love you so much and I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye.